I am sitting in the church and out in the front room, there's a whole bunch of Muskoka chairs. I do love a Muskoka chair and I'm gonna sit down in my Muskoka chair and kindly uh, refrain from falling asleep if I can. Get in these nice chairs, it's nice. The Bible says, uh, as a person thinks, so is he. We've been talking about thinking this week. And even if you sit in a chair, I'm in a Muskoka chair, I can close my eyes and dream that I'm at a lake somewhere. <clears throat> but reality is I'm at the church. I'm just here at church. Uh, and I'm at this juncture enjoying sitting in a comfortable chair. 2 Corinthians 10, 3, we looked at, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. In other words, we're engaged in a battlefield. And Paul says, I'm going to show you some weapons that are new to you. We looked at prayer, the word of God, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Those are the big ones Paul kind of gets in, into. But what do you think about when you're alone? There's a Bible verse, Proverbs 16, 32. It says this, he that rules or ruleth his mind is greater than he that rules a city. And Isaiah says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Now, I'm not in Muskoka at a lake, but I'm in a chair. And my mind, as I sit in this chair, I'm like, oh, Lord, thank you. Like, I relax. My mind goes to peace. Now, you have a choice, and I know this sounds funny. There's one of two ways your mind can go. Your mind can go to peace, or your mind can go to pieces. Now, I know that's a play on words, but it's true. The last two years, this has been a test. He that ruleth his mind is greater than he that rules the city. So, your mind going to peace, God will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. Your mind going to pieces is what happens when your mind doesn't go to peace. And in a time of stress, that pulling apart, it really, uh, I'm sitting in the Muskoka chairs because it, you know, we know what a peaceful, serene setting is, but you can't fake it. I'm not in Muskoka. I'm at the church. No matter what you say, I may be in the chair, but I'm not in the same mindset. So God says, if your mind is set on him, he'll keep your mind in perfect peace. It's not a shallow peace. And what I want to just say is, this is a very shallow piece. It reminds me of something. I like it, but it's not the same as the real thing. You got to drive about three to four hours to get to the place where these chairs carry the name for. So it does come upon us kind of at moments where we can have to really engage to rule our mind. And keeping your peace, I want to just say this, has nothing to do with sitting in a chair. And Paul's saying there's times where you are, your world is going to be a battlefield. You're going to need new weapons. And it's really key if you use those weapons, it affects your mind. And it is, in other words, a battlefield because 2 Corinthians 10, as we keep going, says it's in the mind that this goes on. God has something for you to keep you and your mind from going to pieces. And it's not that you need to share what's going on. Now, I just want to close with this thought. What's going to stop your mind from going to pieces is not just talking to other people about what's going on in your mind. The three weapons are prayer, the word of God, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Those are very different than just talking to other people and sharing. It's not wrong to do that. But how you keep your mind in that place of peace, how you, you know, it's, it's not an easy accomplishment to do this. Last two years, a lot of people, their minds, this is where the battleground has been. We let you, Lord, into our mind by keeping our focus, staying on thee. And we claim your peace for every one of us. May no one go to pieces, but may, and may no one shop around for an answer. This is so strange. I don't know why I'm saying this. I feel it right now. Don't shop around for an answer when God has bought with his son your peace in Jesus' name.